Right, eh? Sometimes it's easier to do a video um, when a client's asking about a radio just to quickly give them a bit of a look. Um, uh, this is the GB590 base module uh, with an annoying bit of noise coming through at the moment, uh, of course, uh, with a TX470S. Now, this client's looking for a um, UHF radio in one of the actual command module bases. We've got quite a few of these with um, uh, uh, VH, uh, sorry, with HF uh, C, 40 channel CB sideband AM bases in them. Uh, we actually, this is our last um, 470S that we had uh, lying around. Um, so what I've tried to do is pick out one of the best bases. Very hard to pick up a perfect base. I'm not going to tell you this is perfect. You'll find, you know, sort of, um, this is this is reasonable. You know, it's not bad. Um, none of them are perfect, and this is the the thing that. You know we need to sort of be clear on but this is pretty clean um you know a bit of dust there <laughs> um sitting out in the museum i suppose but um just putting um uh, about five microvolts into it so let's take that down to 0.5 of a microvolt right on the squelch and at 0.5 of a microvolt it's still hearing that which is nice so we sort of know the receivers tune nicely on this once we do that now let's just click that off and get rid of that there. The other thing, of course, we like to know about, this is a bit of a short video because there's not much to talk about with UHF 40 channel CB radios, to be honest, but um, uh, it's got one little digit on the uh, uh, on the clock display too. Uh, let's have a look at my, let's try and make sure there's no other digits. Yeah, yeah, this was very typical of them. Um, a lot of them had little clock display issues um, where you might lose a digit here and there. Um, let's have a look. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Let's actually turn that volume up so we can hear ourselves because mic audio would be good too. One, two, three. Let's turn it up a bit more because I can't hear myself there. One, two, three, four, five. And now I've gone to extreme there, a bit too much. Um, but we've got five watts of, four watts of power, sorry, about four watts. Let's turn that down a bit. Uh, but even though we've got four watts of power, what I want to look at is just um, its deviation. I think it's going to be fairly right. One, two, three, four, five. Just like we would like to see, sort of four to five kilohertz of deviation. One, two, three, four, five. Let's just go back to power again. And one, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. Yeah, no, that's that's actually good. Always give the mic cords on electrophones a bit of a rattle. Just make sure that, you know, sort of uh, they, they, they can have intermittents in them at times. Um, wasn't a lot to show you on this one, to be honest. Um, uh, they're a very functional base, the way that they used to work. Uh, and what we've tried to do is to try and pick out something reasonably clean for this particular client. He's been so patient with me. I've got to tell you, um, this should have been done last week. I, I spent the weekend in bed and I'll just, ah, oh, look, it's crazy. Um, and uh, today was sort of just, it's about, oh, I don't know, probably 4.30 in the afternoon. I'm, on, I'm finally up out of bed today. So uh, thanks for those guys, for all you guys who have been patient. Um, uh, some shipments still went out today, so don't get me wrong. Uh, but... Um, uh, Christian, if you're looking, um, your um, your Ferris is, is heading off uh, tomorrow morning, mate. Um, I just did that tune just before, uh, just to um, do what you asked. Um, so, yeah, we won't go on about that, but, yeah, that's all good. Um, and that will uh, come out to you uh, tomorrow morning. And um, uh, I don't think we've got much else going out tomorrow morning. I think we're on top of it for the moment, so <laughs> that's good news. Anyway, um, so uh, this was the... Uh, 470S, it obviously had duplex for uh, repeater function, etc, uh, etc. Et so when you went to duplex, you were actually transmitting channel 31 there and uh, receiving channel 1. Uh, as I said, not a lot to sort of go on about with these. They, they're pretty much 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They transmit, they receive, they hear a signal. Um, just to show you when we put a bit of... Oh, a bit more signal through, the S meter... Does... It's a four um, four level S meter, so that just gives you an idea that all the digits work on the S meter. But um, but yeah, um, look again, finding a perfect clock is very very hard. And um, uh, I actually I've got to be honest with you, I don't own one with a perfect clock. Um, I've got four or five of these modules left to go. I've picked out a really nice one for this particular uh, chap. Uh, and when I say really nice, not perfect, none of them, <laughs> I don't know what it was with these things, but uh, nobody sort of kept them in the boxes. They used them, they, they definitely did. These used to sit in so many different spots in farms and different things, and, you know, they, 
they, they made for a nice looking sort of base station so um, you know that was the, the good news all right well that's uh, just a bit of an idea what the TX470S and the GB590 base looks like uh, this one's obviously catered more for uh, my client um, if you're looking for the 560 the sideband module that went into them um, I've got a few 560s left that could go into modules um, where I'm uh, I pretty much sold my 470s going back some time ago to um, uh, a mate of mine uh, not too far away from here uh, over towards Shepparton Way and uh, he took all the 320s 620s um, uh, 650s um, 470s, 472s, etc. I just happened to have this one sitting in our museum as it was a very clean one, so it was nice to have sitting in the module. Anyway, all must go and it all's all going. Uh, I, I would say this one is sold. I, look, I haven't talked to the client yet about numbers and bits, so um, if um, if it doesn't, we'll certainly put it up for sale and uh, that's easy fixed. Um, but yes, I, I would suggest more. Uh, we've got more 560s, uh, the sideband versions, to go into these bases now. So if you're looking for something like that, um, uh, certainly drop us a message at brenton at posnev.com.au. By the way, the email system is working great. Thanks to you guys that everybody's emailing me because I can just keep track of it so much better. And, uh, yeah, it, it really is uh, helpful. All right. GB590 base command module with the TX470S. That's what it looks like. And uh, they're... Uh, Great little combination, actually, they, they were good. 73s, cheers all.